Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Undertale. We just had a date with Papyrus in the last episode, so we are now free to move past Snowden. It just took me a million and one tries to die. I died, like, what, four times? Five times? I don't remember. Probably, like, a million times. Who knows? Seven times? Twenty times? Couldn't tell you. But, all right, we're going to start moving in past our wonderful Snowden area. Do, 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 Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing you heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing you heard over and over. Over and over. Over and over. Over and over. What you want, Sansy boy? What? Haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Oh. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. You bastard. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I want Borga. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think of my brother? He's definitely cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Of course. Bon appetit. Tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Uh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Scratches his ass. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day he went to the house, went to the house of the head of the royal guard, and begged her to let him, let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's a uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Psh. We have the spotlight. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. He's talking about Flowey. Flowey the flower. Oh, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away for work that long. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot me the bill? Just kidding, Grooby. Put it on my tab. Like, sure, I mean, I don't have the money. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. You bastard. Do -do 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 -do. Alright. Let's go back this way. And we'll save in this tunnel. 
So I believe Undyne is the next boss that we fight. Or is the next person we run, we come across. Do 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 do. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Waterfall. Checkpoint. Can I just jump? Oh, hi rock. Hi rock. Hi rocks. This is a box. You can put an item in or take the item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box? Sure, what's inside this one? Same stuff. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Oop, oop. Oh, there's a camera behind the waterfall. Okay, what's the camera for? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay, there's a camera. Oh, I can just go across. Okay. Oh. Ho ho. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. W what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Poor Papyrus. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh. That's okay, little buddy. You got it. You're good. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Heck yeah. When you four bridge seeds align in the water they will sprout bone two three four kind of figure that's what they were considering they're the only things there <gasps> then my phone goes off stop going off stupid oh Jesus Aaron flexes in oh Aaron Flex, you flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Oh, Aaron is ready for your next flex. All right, flex some more. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for both of you. Nice. I won't lose though. Aaron is ready for your next flex. I'm gonna flex thrice as hard as well. He flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Hell yeah! Psh.
Oh-ho! If an error is made, the bell blossom can bridge seeds back to where they... This is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequ <laughs> sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Or are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? No. So you aren't wearing a bandana. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Mm, poor monsters. Dozens of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis, make a wish. Whoa, Shua. Clean? You ask what to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Tweet, green means clean. I want the green. While she was rinsing off the pizza. Off a of pizza. Oh, it's ready. Pizza's ready. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Oh. Look through the telescope? Heck yeah. Oh. Check wall. Okay, what wall am I checking? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Maybe this wall. Yep. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. The music's nice, though. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Oh, that's not fair. But humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Ooh. We're going, we're going. It's dark and spoopy, I'm afraid. Hello. Ah! You don't touch me. Woo. Woo. Don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Ow! Oh shit! Shit! I'm out of here. Can't stop, can't stop, can't stop, can't stop, can't stop, can't stop. Oh shit. She's like, oh, fuck. Come on, guy. 
Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky if you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. <sighs> he keeps bopping himself in the face. Ooh, what's this? The cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak! Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the ma mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Alright, we're gonna go a little bit further. Sands! I'm thinking about getting into telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use a telescope? Fuck yeah. There's nothing here. It's just red. Or is it pink? It looks kind of orange now. Oh, maybe that's just me. Huh? You weren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Fucking bastard. Use the box? Of course. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? I'm not a star, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you... Bastard. Okay, I don't know if that's the way or if this is the way. This is not the way. There's a duck man over there, though. What is in here? Oh, it's an ice cream guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get a, the customers back. An ice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Frozen treat. Now just 25. Might as well have them. The box contains two cards. Take a card. Got a punch card. The box contains one card. Take a card. Got a punch card. What is this? The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> Alright, we are golden so far. We'll just have to go until we get to the next save point. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one. But, it's kind of stupid. Go down. Oh, god damn it. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a banana? So, of course, I actually told her, you were indeed wearing a banana. It pained me to tell such a, a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a banana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Am I wearing a banana? bandana? I'm wearing a bandana. I need to get rid of this bandana. Oh, no. <sighs> we're good. Multiple. They're uber attracted to me. So attracted. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. You got the ballet shoes. You equipped the ballet shoes. I got ballet slippers. I got super shoes. Okay, we might as well just go down and continue on our wonderful line of questing and story. Thank you, Papyrus. I didn't think you were actually going to be a friend to me. 
Er, oh, well, no, we'll shoot would be easier to do. You ask Wilshu to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Spare him. Shit. He's sweating bullets, huh? You flex. Aaron flexed it twice as hard. He's ready for you. Okay, let's flex. Flex thrice as hard for me, Alex. Or Aaron. Alex. No oh, shit. No! Bastard. You're going to be alright, Slothy. Stay determined. That's the plan, brother. But I'm all the way back here. I don't think I even have my ballet slippers now. I don't even have my nice cream. Fine, I guess we'll just have to end it there then. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Leave a like, comment. Please do subscribe for some more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.